In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five bar graph options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. I can see here I've added five options starting with marketing, finance, manufacturing, sales and logistics. And upon my mouse click, it will move and it will uh, reveal the, the percentage. So let me just click here. When I click, you can see here it says 62% for marketing, then finance is 80%, manufacturing, then sales and the logistics and i have created one more slide without the animation effect so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the color to light gray color go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle and make sure it is fully curved you can see here the small orange point i'm just dragging this inside so it becomes fully curved shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can use some light color here you can see here and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to use some different color combination right mouse click go to format shape under fill select the gradient fill by default you have got four stops i'm going to delete the two stops one stop i'm going to select the color maybe you can see here uh, fluorescent green and then i'm going to use some dark green color here maybe this color you can see here and then the direction i'm going to select something like this you can see here and then i'm going to reduce the size of this you can see here the height is 0.39 and the width is 9.17 so I'm just going to reduce it. You can see here how much you want. You can just reduce it and exactly copy it on the top of that. Now I want to create a small uh, 3D circle here. Instead of creating this one, so I, uh, today I have published this particular video. So I'm just going to take this one. For example, let me just take this control C and paste it control V. And then I'm just going to delete this uh, percentage here and then i'm going to reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and then just put it here on top of this okay and then you can insert your text here go to text box you can just insert your title make it right aligned you can use any font of your choice maybe century gothic you can make it bold if you want you can reduce the size also and here i'm just going to add the percentage here for example i'll just say this is 50 percent or 55 percent and put it here at the end make it bold and you can give some gray color to it so this is the first design or the first option. I'm just going to duplicate this. Select all by pressing Ctrl A or you can just highlight with the help of a mouse and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it down. Make sure it is properly aligned. And suppose I want to change this color. I want to give some different color combination, maybe a kind of a light orange and then for this one i'm going to select the dark orange you can see here and for this again i'm going to select maybe again i can if you want i want only two colors i can just delete also this one let me just delete so here i'm going to select a light orange and here i'm going to select a dark orange so you can see here you end up getting like this an example i want to increase the the percentage here so i'm just going to increase the size something like this and then just move this here and make sure that it is properly aligned and say this is maybe a 75 percent so likewise i'm just going to select all again the second option press ctrl d just make sure that it is properly spacing between this and this one i'm going to reduce it maybe 30 percent only so i'm just going to reduce this bring it here again to change the color maybe i can use some purple colors light color and then i'm going to use some darker color here you can see here and the same thing applied here also uh, lighter color 
with a darker color you can see and this could be i'll just say a 30 percent so this is my third option now for me to copy press ctrl d this is the fourth option and ctrl d this is the fifth option now if you want to increase or decrease according to your requirement you can do it for example this one it will go till here maybe this is uh, further reduced you can see here and bring this one here and as usual whichever color you choose maybe i'm going to choose a blue color combination a light blue uh, with a dark blue combination you can see here and i'm going to do the same thing for this also a light blue and then a dark blue color combination and for this also you can change it so this one could be i'll say a 90 percent and any color of your choice you can choose for this as well and the last thing is if you want to give the animation effect also you can give that for example let me just duplicate this slide and i'm going to give the animations on this so first of all go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first one add animation and go to more entrance effect select stretch you can see here click ok and effect option say from left so it comes something like this and then for this i'm going to use the right uh, the motion path so let me just bring this to the extreme left at the beginning of the bar you can see here and then i can just select all of this by holding the shift key and go to format align i can make it left so you can see here all that come at the left side then i'm going to select this go to the animations add animation select more motion path and just scroll it down and search for the right you can see here right and click ok so you can see here it is stopping here so i'm just going to hold the shift key drag this point and put it at the corner at the end of this one and this one should happen with previous double click make smooth start smooth and to zero timings make it very fast and click ok so if i play it comes something like this along with this one can you see now it is very easy for me i'm going to select this animation painter click on the second one then select the glossy circle animation painter and click this one and this is stopping here again you can select the arrow you can see here let me just select and then just hold the shift key and drag it till the end something like this and then i'm going to select this for this animation and again i'm going to select this and click it here again it is going outside so i'm just going to select this and just drag it here so let me just play it you can see here this is first second and third so this way you can do the small animation effect for your slide that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye